All right, welcome everyone to the second race of the second round of the 2023 Fire Red Leaf Green Any Percent Tournament. I am Mockwing, I'll be your commentator today. And today racing, we have Ananon, Ekman, and Kid Rocker. We should be starting up shortly. Uh, for, I guess before we start up, we can say that Ananon and Ekman are both playing on EMU, so they're going to be taking a 25 second uh, penalty before the race, so that way everything lines up afterward. Alright, so now everyone started the intro, everyone's officially playing. Uh, for now, since there's nothing to do, let's take a look at these squirrels. All of them are pretty good. We have Ekman and Kid Rocker, both rocking with a rash, both 25 attack, which is pretty good. Uh, if I'm correct, Ananon and Ekman will be doing the late surge route, while Kid Rocker is going to be doing the early surge route. Also, Kid Rocker, uh, a good note to point out is that he has 31 defense, uh, which at 30 to 31 defense on a Rash or Modest, uh, you start taking less damage in the Rival 1 fight. Rivals, uh, the Bulbasaur's tackle is only going to do 2 damage, uh, and it makes it incredibly, incredibly hard to lose the Rival 1 fight, which, like, isn't necessarily something that you would normally have to worry about, but it does happen. So the two routes, uh, like, for the most part, visually sync up right around Pokemon Tower. Uh, that'll be when, like, both routes have done Surge to that point. But the late Surge runners will have already gotten the T and will have already given the T to the guard. Uh, which are, like, uh, the few advantages that you have. So I guess that makes up about, I would say, probably 23 seconds. 23-24. Oh, wait a minute. And I'm changing the IV of his Squirtle? Is he trying to hit this one? Nah, never mind. Yeah, it literally was modest three seconds ago. <laughs> okay, never mind. Sticking with the modest. Good Rocker starting his fight. Oh, yeah, so Anon is bringing a modest Squirtle into this race, which, uh,. Is very good in some aspects. Unlike Rash or Mild, it doesn't have a defense that's naturally lowered. So both, it's basically as good on defense as a Rash and a Mild in both uh, defense and special defense. The only problem with it is that Modest loses a little bit of time on Route One and on Sammy, since uh, you have less attack. On Sammy, you have to tackle an extra turn, or actually, no, you have to tail with an extra time. Uh, so for most people running Modest, they'll end up getting Bubble to help out with that fight. Uh, but another thing that's kind of concerning is that, uh, Modest with low attack isn't necessarily all that great for late Surge. Uh, since you enter the boat fight at a lower level, your bite kick was at 27, which is what Kid Rocker is going to be doing. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. So, everyone back in the lab. Resynced up. Wait a minute. Ekman did... Ekman did back out? This ain't yellow. What's going on here? Uh, I see Ekman skipping the Mark Eye Potion. I'm assuming he picked it up on the first way through. Uh, didn't get to see the first pass for most of these runners, but we'll see. We can probably figure out what happened during this. So it looks like for sure Ekman and Adonan both got 
uh, one experience kill. And um, getting a good rat uh, with low defense, he was able to tackle twice into what is essentially a guaranteed catch. And Ekman going for a... Ah, that... That might have been a 78, but it might have been guaranteed. That is pretty close. That's, like, right on the edge. And Kid Rocker zooming through. Uh, pretty sure Kid Rocker has at least one catch. We'll have to see on the Sammy fight. Oh, no, Kid Rocker. <laughs> okay, so Kid Rocker got... Uh, a little bit of an unfortunate start, uh, not having any pokes because Fritz just too powerful. But uh, he'll definitely have level seven for Sammy, which is uh, a lot safer than the tackle fight. You don't have to risk any 95% tackles. Uh, the only bad thing that can really happen is he speed fall. But uh, Bubble does slightly more damage. You don't have to tail whip if you crit at any point. Uh, usually the crits are huge. Like, it could deal up to half of Weedle's health, uh, even not in Torrent. Alright, let's see if we have any shiny Weedles. Unfortunately, not today. Alright, so Kid Rocker's entering... Viridian Forest. I'm sure uh, if you've seen some of these races before, this has probably been talked about before. But uh, with each new area you enter in, you have a set number of 1% tiles. Prior to the forest, all of that regular grass, you have six tiles of free steps, essentially, where the game is very much not likely to check for an encounter chance. Good rocker getting... Pretty decently far before getting the first encounter, that's pretty big. Uh, so in regular grass, like the one that Ananon is walking through right now, Neckman is walking around. Ekman doing Ringo strats, not taking any chances. Kid Rocker coming down middle way, ooh, and getting the potion. So Kid Rocker going extra safety. He's gonna have three potions for the Sammy fight. Uh, honestly, not really that bad of an option. Uh, the Sammy fight can, it can always, it always has an opportunity to, to go really wrong, considering that, like, if you get crit and get the poison, uh, then you're looking at around, like, 10 HP loss minimum, which is, at this point, is almost half your health. Oh no, Ekman. Holy, that's, uh, rare. <laughs> So, uh, occasionally, you will... Wait, what is Ekman doing? Ekman is taking an adventure. Ekman is, uh, that Weedle. The level 5 Weedle, I'm sure, got into his head a little bit. So, uh, sometimes at level 5, Weedle can speed tie you if you are, I believe, 11 speed at level 6. Uh, not great. It couldn't run the first time, but luckily didn't get the early poison. If Ekman had gotten the early poison, it would have been very bad. Kid Rocker making it through Sammy with poison, so he's going to be able to manipulate his HP to a good point for Brock's gym. Ekman saving. Let's see how Ananon's fight goes. Okay, will Anna heal? Anna not healing. The gamer's playing a bit risky. I expect Ekman to heal here. Is this a turn away from victory for Anna? Okay, nah. Almost. No! Oh my goodness. And I'm uh, getting the last turn Poison Sting crit to end the fight, which is uh, not how you want to begin your race. But there's... Uh, at the health Ananon was at, uh, he simply basically just had to go for it because he was close to getting good HP for Brock's gym 
and with air only being one turn left in the fight, you just you always risk that. Get Rocker getting a good turn one bubble on Sandshrew is likely to kill. Oh no, is that a mineral? Yeah, it's a mineral. Okay, luckily uh, it doesn't get cringed on. Gets defense curl, and he'll be on through Brock. Ekman also making it out of Sammy. Uh, but the lone encounter after Sammy. I believe there's about like uh, 11 or 12 grass steps that you have to walk through after defeating Sammy. So like, I would just call it like a 50-50 on whether you get an encounter or not. Kid Rocker taking a safety save before Brock, never a bad idea. Kid Rocker's actually, oh, I mean, no pokes, but this still isn't a bad time for a race. Actually, wait, no, Kid Rocker does have a poke. And never mind, this time is actually very good for a race for Kid Rocker. Also good HP IV gives him Torrent for level 11. Which, uh... Can be nice because out of Torrent, the Geo dudes a 14 and 16 at level 11, and Kid Rocker gets the one shot. Wow, a very clean, nice start from Kid Rocker. Uh, is gonna be about at, like minimum a minute ahead of both of these racers, even under the best circumstances, probably a minute and a half. Ekman not getting ideal circumstances here. Uh, with high health, this Sandshrew is a range to three shot. So this bubble could or could not kill here. Ah, it doesn't get lucky. So yeah, uh, Mid-13 from Kid Rocker is fantastic for a race. That's, I mean, I'm looking for that on PV attempts, but <laughs> when do those happen? Ekman also saving for Brock. The 18-minute IGT, that's how you know he waited for the Squirtle. Yeah, Kid Rocker doing uh, early search shopping for sure, which is uh, for a race route, you would just do world record shopping, except you take off one potion and you add a repel, so that way you can grab the revive and moon. Ekman and Anon both on the Brock fight. Anon at good health, and Ekman technically not at a bad health, I would say. If he sees double tackle, it could be nice. Fine for Anna. Let's see the ranges. Oh, Anna crits. Okay. Good news for Anna. Oh, Ekman! No! Oh, that was so cringe. Ekman trying to stall one turn to take a little bit more damage to get Torrent for... Uh, route 3, which was looking very likely, but that crit kind of ruins everything. Kid Rocker also struggling trying to get deeper torrent here, seeing a lot of string shots. Okay, Ackman just deciding to finish off Brock here. Uh, it's honestly, like, not a bad play. I mean, you get crit at the wrong time and you end up in the situation that Ekman did, uh, which is unfortunate. Sometimes it could lead to death, I think. Probably better to just play it safe and end the fight. Because resetting isn't worth it. And Rocker, I didn't see the end of his fight, but I think doesn't have Torrent for this bug catcher. Oh wait, no, never mind. He did take one more bit of damage. Okay, perfect. So he'll have Torrent for the rest of this fight, gonna one-shot everything. Uh, but then we'll level out for the last bug catcher. And then I'm doing late surge shopping. As expected. So 
Okay, Kid Rocker was able to find Torrent uh, through the fights on Route 3, which is fortunate. Uh, in Torrent, you one-shot all of the bugs you see, but without Torrent, there's... Let's see, one, two, three. Uh, one dies naturally, one is a range. Four, five, another range. Six, there's at least six pokes that are going to be two shots. Two of them are ranges to one shot. Uh, it's just not a position you want to be in. Anna going for the early tackle, trying to get uh, his damage in early. For him, he'll need a few hits because uh, with high defense, and it's actually the same story with Ekman. Uh, the Caterpies will do two damage with tackle at their defense, and Weedle does three with Poison Sting. Oh, Anna getting poisoned. Back. It's a... Actually, we'll be safe here, I think. Even a tackle crit, I think, wouldn't kill. Oh, wait, from six? Uh, okay. <laughs> I was wrong. I thought he was going to be at eight. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> Anna risking it all there. No! Ekman just getting so trolled here. Seeing tackle miss. And Kid Rocker catches his bird. So Kid Rocker didn't enter Route 3 with Torrent, but is still zooming by, was able to get it. Wow, Ekman getting poisoned as well. Oh my god. What's going on? These early poisons are so scary. Holy, okay. I... Mm... Oh no, Ekman, Ekman. Ekman. E, this is scary for Ekman here. Oh, okay. Big brain. Huge brain, actually. <sighs> Kid Rocker's fighting Hiker in Tunnel, which is uh, technically the slowest optional that you can take for experience. Uh, but it does give a ton of extra experience compared to the other fights you could take. Uh, and it'll open up the possibility for him to candy early before the scientist. And he doesn't have to worry about level 19 for catches afterwards because he already has both of his pokes. Yeah, Ekman. Uh, two was the standard roll there from Tackle. Uh, so Ekman only risks 1 in 16. But still, I mean... Whew. Okay, so Ekman... Uh, was poisoned and went down to 3 HP and decided to antidote on that turn, giving Caterpie a 1 in 16 chance to kill him. Uh, luckily, did not kill him and ended up, uh, because he was slower, knowing that he would have to risk a 50-50 if he just went for it, swapped out to his bird. So that way he could lose the speed fall that he had gotten and be guaranteed to be faster than the Caterpie and just go. And uh, taking the long and safe way towards the rare candy. So the candy before scientist strap is you normally have to fight hiker. The other way you can get uh, level 17 before scientist is you fight two level three rats and you fight rocket. That also gives you enough experience. Uh, but what it does is you can just, uh, since you have level 17 early, you can just candy to level 18 before the scientist fight because the scientist still gives enough experience well, he'll level you up after. You'll go to level 19 when you finish the fight. Uh, but the benefits of being level 18, if you are in Torrent, are pretty huge because Torrent Bubble plus Torrent Water Gun always kill Grimer, so you could just lead Bubble and not have to worry about Disable. Uh, a lot more speeds, just naturally outspeed Voltorb since you're a level higher than you would normally be as well as the range on the Voltorb. I don't know if it's fully guaranteed, but it's close to guaranteed that you'll knock it out if you have Torrent. And also, of course, no range on coughing afterward. Kid Rocker could see a possible person proc. 
Ah, gets lucky. Nice. So Anna also fought the hiker, and Ekman is fighting the bug catcher, which is uh, movement-wise the fastest fight you can take in. Rock All right, it's the uh, it's the fastest fight you can take in Mount Moon. Uh, and he has perfect HP for this fight. I mean, after getting hit down to one HP. The reason why you'd want to do this fight over Marcos is because this fight won't give you any super effective text boxes, so it saves about six seconds compared to the Marcos fight. Uh, and in some cases, the extra HP EVs you get from the Caterpie could help you out later, as well as possibly the defensive EVs from Metapod. I don't know why I blinked on Metapod's name. Kid Rocker... Let's see, Smog miss. Oh, Anna getting a quick attack, which is... It's okay. He's not dead to poison gas here. Uh, but it's probably a little bit lower than what he would have wanted. Two potions doesn't even take him to full anymore. Meanwhile, Kid Rocker is going to be exiting Rock Tunnel with, honestly, a fantastic time. Well, this is easily a low 26 pace for Misty. Uh, and we see Anna doing the candy before scientist strat here. Uh, obviously ended in deep torrent, so this fight's going to be very, very good for Anna. Also on Ekman's screen, you saw him pick up the revive and uh, do TM casement up for that spinner. All of these runners uh, will have grabbed revive. It is almost strictly necessary for a race, uh, just with the comfort it kind of provides. There's a lot of things that can go wrong over the course of the run, especially so within these first like 30 minutes of the run. And having the revive there is always a nice backup, so you can just keep going. Ooh, that was close. I was wondering if Kid Rocker was going to talk to Misty before even doing any menu. Anna grabbing the extra antidote, uh, likely because he had to use one on Route 3. So just making sure he still has three in his inventory. Thank you, Bay. Kid Rocker's starting Misty now. Uh, I would guess that everyone picked up Person Berry. If they didn't pick up Person Berry, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Ah, Ekman missing the Voltorb range, uh, which is, I believe, 9 and 16. It's the same range as Brock's Onyx. No! No! Kid Rocker! Oh, God. I, I didn't see if that was double Water Pulse, or if that was just Water Pulse crit at the end there. Uh, but already losing the Person Berry is not what you want to see. Uh, from Kid Rocker's defenses, I believe he's 50-50, whether he's going to see Swift or Water Pulse. It was double? Yeah. Double is not what you want to see. Uh, usually... Okay, nice. Kid Rocker making it through. Uh, always a little bit scary when you kind of have to risk last turn crit, but uh, most of the time, that's the scenario you're going to find yourself with on Misty. And yeah, 2610 Misty from Kid Rocker is very, very good. I mean, what, like, less than 15 seconds difference between this and the Misty time in World Record? Anna starting his fight. And Ekman making it into Cerulean. Now, I believe we should see a save from Kid Rocker here. 
Okay, yeah. Doing a potion before the fight, which uh, I agree with. Let's see, E, Anna, seeing Water Pulse, Confuse, okay. Press and Barry to the rescue. And Kid Rocker starting Bridge Rival Fight. No! Anna! That's his second death he's seen this race. And I'm fairly certain it was a no-save Misty, so he's just gonna have to pop the revive here. Uh, using it this early is not what you want to see, especially with, like, what is the almost the worst fight in the run happening right after. Ekman taking a safety save. Yeah, that is very unfortunate for Anna. Not what you want to see at all. Kid Rocker biting. Sees Leech Seed from 35! What's going on? All these fights are trolling. So with that, I believe Kid Rocker has had to sack both of his pokes. Yeah. So if he dies here, he doesn't have a way to revive. He's just going to have to reset. This will be a range. Okay, gets it. Nice. Uh, this is the only fight where Bulbasaur is still low enough level and low enough defenses where even after a Leech Seed, uh, if you bit first, if you have high attack, you still have a possibility to knock it out. And Kid Rocker luckily gets it in like a do or die situation. Ekman also making it through Misty. Anna saving for Rival 2, and I'm sure we're going to see uh, plenty more saves now that the revive is gone. Kid Rocker had uh, a slow start to that Rival fight, but is still rocking through. Ah, come on. <laughs> Anna is getting just absolutely troll here, yeah. Just resets it. Uh, uh, I think from that situation, if he had just seen a normal quick attack, uh, he could have just potioned out uh, of one Vine Whip and still have been good for at least one turn. But that crit ruins that strategy. Uh, just honestly, probably faster to reset. And now with that death, Ekman's basically caught up. God, does Rival love sand attacking with his bird? It is crazy. Okay, Anna getting a better HP setup here. Mmm, Ekman. That isn't what he wanted to see. Ekman, it, he could probably do the potion strat, though. Let's we'll see what he does. Anna getting slept. Okay, Anna hitting the kick. Okay, and he's through. Uh, Ekman unfortunately having to potion twice, but now he'll definitely be out of Vine Whip range. So let's hope for a flinch. Kid Rocker also hitting his kick. No, dude! From 19? God, Leech Seed. So terrible, I mean... Uh, you hate having to reset, but it was probably the right call, considering he already had to use two potions that fight, and if he was, and if he he had to hit the kick, as well as likely potion another one or two times because of that leech seed, and losing four potions to this fight is pretty bad. You you want your potions for a lot of areas of the run. Okay, Ekman seeing a better Pidgeotto this time. I think, like, all of these runners had a swap on Pidgeotto because they saw Sand at some point. Miss? Okay. 
Let's go. Much cleaner fight for Ekman this time around. Fun fact. If you see a powder move, it shares the same accuracy as Mega Kick. Also, Ekman biting the Abra, which, uh, a little bit of time loss since you get super effective text, but uh, it is guaranteed to kill. The other option there is using a Water Pulse uh, with Ekman not in Torrent, which would have been a 13 and 16 range. So, even though Kid Rocker still has his revive, uh, he's probably going to be playing it just as safe as Anna is for the time being. Anna going for double bite strats, uh, which uh, I personally like, as long as you aren't in an HP that can get uh, crit killed by Absorb. It rarely happens, but it happens. Uh, and saving a kick, though, which is always nice. On the bridge here, there's not much to talk about. You, uh, if you have Torrent, you can Water Gun everything. If you have, if you don't have Torrent, you can Water Pulse everything, and everything's just gonna go down in one shot. Oh, there, we're getting a little bit of spread <laughs> on Kid Rocker's screen. Alright, we have uh, a Dan pass coming up for Kid Rocker. I believe he does uh, a Shiru pass. Wow, okay. Risky gamer. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's what I figured. Uh, Kid Rocker saying his Game Boy just didn't register the B input, which is very likely. I mean, it, it was just a risk otherwise. <laughs> Normally, what is it? The, the step where you're heading uh, towards the right, towards him, is the step that you want to run usually, and then you walk down. Rocker picking up the Oran Berry there. You'll see, I'm sure all of these runners pick up the Oran Berry. Uh, it's a very useful healing item because uh, there's some areas of the run where you really want Torrent. You almost like basically need it. Uh, and sometimes like a potion is just too much health. With, uh, with the way Torrent works, you need to be at a third or less of your maximum HP. And usually healing with a potion is too much and it'll often take you out of that. But an Oran Berry is sometimes, like, just the right amount. Uh, and it's, like, because those areas of the run are so important, it's worth it to just pick up this one healing item. Get Rocker out of kicks and forced into biting. I'm sure KR would have loved to see another Absorb there. So that way he could he could get Torrent for level 25 and not have to kick Camper Jeff's Raticate right before he gets into Vermilion, but unfortunately is not getting there unless some shenanigans happen on the Dig Rocket fight coming up.
All right, by my bill split timing, this is going to be a 37-13 for Kid Rocker, which is, again, a fantastic time for a race. Uh, didn't have the best rival two fight, otherwise would have been a 36, and 36s in races are... Uh, that's a sign that you're on a very good start. Anna, I'm sure, did the Shiru pass? Although I wasn't paying attention, actually. <laughs> e, okay, Ekman. Not getting a good starting position from Dan, but is taking the Juan Lee Wei's trademark double bag of safety pass. Anna fought Elixir Hiker because he was in deep torrent. And because of that, gets a 13 and 16 water pulse range in torrent on that Oddish and gets it, which is what you want to see. But four kicks for this last Oddish, so even if he misses a couple times, he'll be fine. Oh, Kid Rocker missing the kick. Out of kicks now. Mm, okay. Luckily, Hypnosis is a bad move with, I think, 60% accuracy. Doesn't get slept there and now has Torn for the wrap, which is actually what he wanted uh, since he didn't use the ether before this fight. Anna looking like is going to be skipping the ether unless he grabs it on the way out, uh, which is one of the benefits of late surge. You only need kicks for the Drowsy fight and the Camper Jeff fight if you're not in Torrent because once you get to the boat, you're just gonna heal instantly and you're gonna get all your kicks back. But the same can't be said for Kid Rocker. He definitely needed to grab that ether so that way he has kicks for the boat rebel fight. Also grabbing Citrus, uh, which has been a common safety strategy in these races for Surge. Uh, the Surge, the early Surge fight is kind of a nightmare. So many, so many things can go wrong. Uh, even, like, especially like where you really see Citrus pulling its weight is when you start, like, you do the surge fight, right? You get sent out, and you just randomly see the shockwave turn one, which is normally like a death knell you have to switch out since Raichu is faster, but with Citrus, that would make that situation still totally fine. Alright, there is no runner universe where Bill is still a Clefairy with Ekman making it to the end of the split. Or does he Kid Rocker take a shop here? He's gonna buy Super Potions, Paralyze Heals, and the Repels he needs for Rock Tunnel. Uh, both Anna and Ekman bought the Repels that they needed for Rock Tunnel in the Pewter Mart, as well as the Paralyze Heals. Uh, so they're gonna forego getting Super Potions for now. Uh, but they're gonna get to skip that shop, which saves a decent amount of time. And Ken Rocker doing the smart move and just gonna do the menu near the rival fight, so that way he can combine it with the save is actually also going to enter this fight at fantastic HP, if I'm correct, unless that was a level of 26. Saving for both Ridge Rival and Boat Rival, I, it's not like I can really speak against it. These fights are truly terrible. Uh, they're fights where you have to hit kicks, and if you don't hit the kicks, the fight gets complicated or you kind of just die. Kid Rocker getting the ideal turn one, no quick attack from Pidgeotto. Has a possibility to have the fastest version of this fight if he gets a fight flinch here. Mmm, ah. Okay, Sleep Powder hit.
Oh yeah, KR left side boat rival. It, it is time loss. Ah, hits the kick. There we go. Uh, and is actually back into good HP. Uh, I... What was that from? There's no way of... I think he got a vinyl crit. Also hits the kick on rat. Oh wait, no, it actually just water pulses. It's using torrent. Honestly, I mean, Kid Rocker got slept, but, like, that's basically how you want the fight to go. Uh... So overall, not too bad for Kid Rocker. He's gonna be entering the Surge Gym at around, like, 44 minutes. Which is still a fantastic time for a race that's on pace for a 46-47 Surge. Anna having to swap out because he saw Sand Attack turn one, uh, which is one of the issues with the late surge fight. Since you enter at full health, uh, the rival is a lot more likely to uh, throw sand your way on turn one. Heckman getting the bike voucher early, so you can get the bike voucher early or late. Uh, if you want to do it like most optimally, it depends on if the NPC right when you enter the city moves or not. Wait, what did... Okay, so I think Anna stalled a turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think Anna stalled a turn to get damage. Ah, that's... Yikes. That's probably just a reset. Okay, gonna... Play it risky. I mean, from this health, as long as Anna hits the kick, he'll be fine, because he could just potion on Raticate. And the only thing that can go wrong there is if Raticate Hyperfin crits. Okay, he gets the kick. That's what you want to see. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just noticing now. He is the health that Ivysaur was at. Wait, no. Wait a minute. Yeah, Leech Seed. I'm dumb. Kid Rocker not finding this first can fast. And Ekman also starting his rival fight. Yikes. Kid Rocker has searched through... I think 11 out of 15 cans and has not found the switch yet. Which is unfortunate. Ekman hitting the kick. That's what you want to see. And getting poisoned! So that's no sleep. He, yeah, he's probably just going to continue the fight with the poison. Uh, with late surge, you ideally want to work yourself down to torrent for uh, after this fight and for a little bit longer than that, if you can. Because uh, with late surge, you you're not getting the surge exp. You're uh, gonna have a few ranges that the world record route doesn't have. Kid Rocker getting a corner can. Unfortunately, not getting the first guess though. Uh, but luckily, that's why corner cans are good. Guaranteed to have the right one this time. And yeah. Okay. Ekman's fine. Actually, fantastic health for Ekman, honestly. Uh, for the ranges that you want to look for, it is uh, the Picnicker Alicia coming up. Uh, she's a range to kill with Bite. Uh, but if you have Torrent, then you can just Water Pulse and it's always guaranteed to kill. Also in Torrent, you can Water Pulse the Venonat. Uh, and then later on, it also helps with, like, Martha and stuff. But for now, let's watch Kid Rocker's Surge fight. The fight that both Ekman and Anna are avoiding with their route. Uh, due to the massive variability in outcomes you could see. Also, Kid Rocker taking damage from Voltorb is ideal? Because it more easily sets up the double water pulse fight. Okay, hitting through para. Okay, going for the kick, which honestly, I completely understand because sometimes you'll just see the Raichu do a double team in that scenario. Okay, so Kid Rocker's gonna get another chance here. Oh, he's gonna get another two chances. Uh, there we go! Okay, that... Honestly, not bad at all. Uh, like, didn't get fully parried on any turn. 
and only missed one kick, so I would consider that fight pretty good. Uh, no deaths, so the late surge route is going to lose some time to Kid Rocker here. So right now it looks like all, all of these runners are just slightly offset from each other and they're all pretty close. But Kid Rocker, uh, given his early advantage, uh, as well as the outcome of that surge fight, is like basically massively ahead of these two. Like minimum a minute, uh, could reach all the way to two minutes ahead with how good of circumstances he's got. Uh, if Kid Rocker, if you're asking why Surge shockwaved after the Thunder Wave, it literally just random. Like, after you hit him with the Water Pulse, he gets increased odds to shockwave because he's below a certain threshold of health. Uh, like, but still, you made the right decision, I would say, because, like, I've literally seen double team from those circumstances all the time. Anna? Biting the first dodge? That has to be a bite. I, mean, I, th I think he's trying to fish for a poison to get his health low. Is what I'm thinking. Wait, water gun crit. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the, the rock tunnel split. It's not great. As you can see from the fights Anna and Ekman are having, this is this is only the first fight on this route. You have to hit two Mega Kicks because there's two Oddish on this fight. And Anna also seeing the bad side of not being in Torrent, not getting the bite range on Bellsprout. Another kick miss for Ekman. This is, I mean, this is just classic Fire Red Leaf Green. Also, so these Oddishes, are uh, extremely well balanced, well designed. Hasn't missed a powder on Ekman, by the way. Uh, they their moves are Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, and Sweet Scent. Anna getting a clean run to bike there after the fight. Uh, Ekman still <laughs> struggling mightily. This is this could be iffy if this isn't the second Oddish because or well actually he's guaranteed to kill the bell sprout so it doesn't matter. Get a rocker hitting his last kick. Okay. Okay, Ekman doing a safety potion, which isn't bad because he still has another Oddish to get through and he could get poisoned again. Anna seeing Foresight. Uh, the Venonat can be sometimes troll because it can Poison Powder you or it can Confusion Confuse you, which is also not great. Ekman. <laughs> Jesus. Anna's going to be donating a lot of quarters to these statuses for Ekman. Kid Rocker also just having a terrible Alicia fight. Both of the let Ekman's fight has been a nightmare, really. Kid Rocker, even. They're both going to get out at about the same time, and Kid Rocker, I think, started the fight 30 seconds later, minimum. Just for an idea of how bad Ekman's fight there was. All of these runners getting clean run to bikes. You love to see it. No antidotes that I can think of. There's berries and lumberries once you get out of Rock Tunnel, if you cut some trees, but not a great scenario if you don't have Poison Heal. Yeah, Ekman's in a tough spot here. I 
I'm fairly certain there isn't like a helpful item for him to grab in Rock Tunnel. Uh, Kid Rocker picking up the Chesto Berry. Anna dodging attacks from the Slowpoke, not what he wanted to see. Anna's trying to take every bit of damage that he possibly can right now. Also is the first to Martha, which is uh, a terrible fight no matter what route you're on. For Anna, he's going to have to double bite this Oddish, which is a range to kill. Uh, we'll see how this first bite roll goes. Oh, gets a decent bite roll. The next bite can definitely kill from here. Also gets Sweet Scent, which is ideal. Although Anna, I'm sure, would, would have been happy if he saw Poison Powder. And this Bulbasaur only dies to kick? Okay. Let's go. Clean fight for Anna. Ekman sitting at 6 HP. Uh, which is very low, very dangerous, even for these slow pokes, because I mean if he sees confusion here, he he will die. Uh he'll live a tackle, but he's one in four. Uh if he doesn't flinch here. Okay. This is scary. I'm... Ekman doesn't have... I'm guessing doesn't have antidotes at all, so he's probably debating whether he's going to heal for the next fight, or if he's going to YOLO, thinking that uh, if he revives, he can now dodge uh, the poison powder worry, and he'll have slightly better health. By actually potioning before and saving, playing it safe. Also, you saw Anna fighting uh, the same trainer that World Record Route is gonna fight. Kid Rocker missing a kick, but seeing Sweet Scent ideal. Takes out his Oddish. Ananon is like half a mile behind right now. Ah, Ekman. Ekman's just not getting the luck right now. Or it hasn't been really through most of this race. Could Rocker leaving the fight being poisoned? We're gonna see how long he hangs on to it, because he could just heal it here in this menu. And he will. Uh, it was possible he could have just stuck it around till right before the the fight after the fight he's about to do. Also, Anna, this is another fight where ranges come into play 14 and 16 on the puff and gets it. That puff's pretty troll. It has disable, it has sing, so it can really make your life hell if you miss that range. I can getting through the second time. Yeah, Anna took that boat heal, and everything's been avoiding him since, basically. sure Ekman didn't fight... Okay, yeah. Ekman didn't fight the Elixir Hiker earlier, so he needs a little bit more EXP now. So instead of fighting the Hiker that both Kid Rocker and Anna fought, he's gonna be fighting Lenny, which has three Geodudes and a Machop. Uh, gives just enough experience for what you need for late Surge. And you can bite all the Geodudes, which is pretty nice. Anna with the dismount before the final trainer in Rock Tunnel, setting up an audio lag save when he leaves, as long as his movement's clean. Last kick on the Oddish, misses! 
So annoying, but see, Sweet Sen again, that's the second time Anna's seen Sweet Sen after a miss. It is very, very fast if you don't have to heal a status off a miss. It's like losing 6 seconds compared to losing about 13, I would say. Ekman in Torrent for that, so didn't have to worry about the range, but is now no longer in Torrent and is going to have to water pulse the rest of these mons. Oh yeah, he definitely would have loved to see Poison. Uh, a bit unfortunate for Anna, actually, yeah. Yeah, true. Probably in Anna's mind, he's probably getting trolled, thinking like, "How is he? How is he not seen a poison powder yet?" Meanwhile, Ekman, on the screen next to him, has stolen literally every single poison powder you could think of. Oh no! Wait, Kid Rocker, I just noticed the slowpoke. Uh, so this is the uh, Run in Darkness spinner pass, and it looks like Kid Rocker, unfortunately, did not nail it. Uh, it's going to get a, a decent amount of extra EXP and a bunch of extra HP e EVs. I'm not entirely sure. But it's possible that Kid Rocker could candy after Sign Rocket. Uh, if he hits level 33, in which case he would get uh, much better ranges for the rest of Rocket Hideout. Yeah, definitely that optional cost a bit of time, even though all the slow pokes are one shot because it's a three poke optional. You're looking at about uh, 43 to 45 seconds loss. And a kicking and missing again. What a great move Mega Kick is. Head Rocker's out of kicks, I'm pretty sure, and is forced to fight here. Anna hitting through the second time. Uh, Anna's very low on kicks. Uh, gonna be interesting to see if... Oh wait, Kid Rocker? Oh wait, hold on. It said woke up. Did he already use the Chesto? If so, that's a yikes. Kid Rocker's gotten slept a lot of times this run. Uh, back to Anna. Very low on kicks, so doesn't have the kicks he needs for X attack strats, I'm pretty sure. So, gonna be curious to see if he grabs the max ether that's in this hideout, uh, just so that way he can force X attack strats if he wants. We're gonna get an early no. <laughs> Oh, used it and got slept again. That is extremely annoying. It's always crazy how these Oddishes, it feels like they know what status item you're low on. Like Ekman, they know he's been poisoned a lot, they just keep giving him poison. Kid Rocker, they know he's been slept a ton, they just keep sleeping him. Anna picking up the Moonstone, a very important item to the speedrun. So important, he can't even sell it to a vendor. The vendor knows the importance of that item.
Okay. Ekman having the much more interesting rocket fight here. I think he's in Torrent? Yeah, Torrent. Perfect. That's what you want. Uh, Ekman's actually going to have Torrent for 32 as well, which is going to be perfect. You, it, It's very ideal that you have Torrent or Hideout if you're doing Late Surge. Because what Ananan's about to see, the Ekans coming up, is a range if you don't have Torrent. I believe this one at 31. I can't remember if this is the worst one or the better one. If it's the worst one, I think it's like a 6 and 16 to kill. Gets it. Just get lucky sometimes. Head Rocker getting through his rat too. Alright, if I'm correct, this one's the Ekans with the better range. So you would expect to hit this one. And yeah. At least it wasn't glare. These Ekans do have glare, which can get very annoying, especially from that Ekans since it's the first poke on the fight compared to the last poke on the fight for the previous one. Kid Rocker grabbing the max ether like he said he would. Uh, want definitely wants the safety of kick strats for tower arrival. Oh, crit poison poison! Wow. Okay, Anna getting low health just a little bit late. Despite it still being a bit high, this is actually like in my head I would term this health ideal. Since you're going to be about in the 70s for Geo, it's going to be very hard to die. And even if he doesn't have Torrent or the Surge fight afterward, he'll likely get good tower rival HP specking for that fight. As long as he doesn't take too much damage here. Alright, no one getting lost on the spinners here. Alright, so this Giovanni fight, Ananan starting it, and Ekman and Kid Rocker are uh, pretty close behind. The main problem with this fight, as you can see from, like, Jesse's water gun one-shots on Onyx and Rhyhorn, is the Kangaskhan. If you're not in Torrent, it is a three-shot and you have to use Water Pulse. If you are in Torrent, it is a very, very likely range to two-shot. It's around, like, somewhere around 95, 98%, something like that. Uh, we're just gonna have to see how this goes. It has Mega Punch, Fake Out, Tail Whip, and Bite. It's Mega Punch turn one, which is fine. He's gonna live another one as long as he doesn't get crit. He's tail whip. Okay. He ends through the fight free. Ekman's Arbok, will he flinch? Gets Leer. Totally fine. You're just... You're always happy as long as you don't see Glare. Get a rocker in the same spot. Yeah, likely gonna try and hit through. It's through. It's what you want to see. Uh, fortunately, didn't get fully parried, so he's just going to be able to heal off that paralyze here. Also, so you saw Anna go get fly, and now he's going to do shopping and then get tea afterward. 
just funny because it's like nearly everything is in the opposite order of what Kid Rocker is going to do it because he's going to do shopping and then he's going to go get fly and then later on after that he's going to go get tea. But it's just the way uh, the routing works since uh, Anna and Ekman will both have to travel back to Surge so better just get the far stuff out of the way first, get everything you need and then you're closer to where you need to be anyway at the end. Anna getting oh oh Jesus those those critters were something they <laughs> guarding the old lady pretty well three times blocked Ekman uh, that's good health good health for Ekman he's gonna walk out with torrent which is ideal for the search fight doesn't have to set up anything extra and just go in and one shot the right shoe. Kid Rocker seeing Tail Whip. Honestly, not bad. Really not bad. 44 health is pretty good if you're going to do kick strats. So Kid Rocker actually getting kind of an ideal ending because now he's not going to have to waste time uh, healing before tower arrival either. All right, let's check these cans. Kind of getting a quick spin from the Sailor, which is not what you want to see. Waiting forever for the spinner. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and uh, doing train turn frame passes. I don't know why I can't talk. Oh my god. Of course it's that can. Of course it would be the third can checked if the Sailor hadn't spun, but instead spun and you have to get there like 30 seconds later. Also unfortunate, it's a four-way can, so it isn't on the left, yeah, but there's still three possible scenarios. Ah, it, that's bad. <laughs> the can's in a bad spot. He'll have to do a pass on the sailor no matter what to find the correct can. Okay, luckily it was not last try. Oh, Anna's saying he's gonna kick. Anna's health is good for tower arrival. Uh, 40 HP is pretty ideal. So for this Raichu, uh, the strats are if you're in torrent, you just torrent one shot water pulse it. Uh, I believe there's also a very bad non-torrent range, but you like no one will ever go for that. You, if you don't have torrent, you're usually just gonna spec. The other option, if you have some kicks available, you could just kick the right shoe because this time the kick will actually one-shot the right shoe. Uh, it's like you don't really want to be kicking again, but when you have uh, good health for tower arrival, sometimes you just like you don't want to give that up. So. I'll just go for the kick here. Nice. Gets it. Uh, static? No static! Even better. Yeah, Anna getting through. No need to spec. Uh, and maintains his good health for tower arrival. Which, Kid Rocker just happens to be starting. Looks like, uh, Kid Rocker's ahead by about a minute? Oh, Ekman, finding a quick can. Uh, there's gonna be one in three chances. Let's hope it's on the left. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Uh, Ekman also gonna have to pass the Sailor no matter what. I think he's looking down, so he can't even check right all that quickly. Kid Rocker with kind of low health. It's a little bit dangerous to be that low, actually. Ekman not getting lucky. Of course, it's 
the right side can, the one that's already pre-blocked. Oh, just doing the walk around underneath. Not gonna bother to wait for the spinner. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, no! Kid Rocker, was that a 1% miss? Holy... No shot. Ain't no way. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a legitimate 1% kick miss for Kid Rocker on that Gyarados to die. That's so extremely unfortunate. One in a hundred. Yeah, KRs. This isn't a good situation for him. Couldn't even really continue stalling on the Gyarados because the Gyarados is confused. It's not even guaranteed to hit you. So he's gonna have to get Torrent somewhere else in tower. And Ekman's through the surge fight. But also, not bad health if he chooses to do spec strats. Uh, but uh, if he's gonna do kick strats, we'll likely heal with the potion. But yeah, that... God, that 1 in 100 for... Kid Rocker uh, really shortened that lead he has. Pretty unfortunate to see. I mean, ah, like, I don't even know what to say there. M missing after the X accuracy is such a terrible feeling. But Kid Rocker's still in the lead, just has to not worry about it and plead through and try to hang on here. Ekman walking into tower. Okay, so Ekman did heal with potion. So yeah, we're gonna see guard spec X -Ac X attack and hoping to see a lot of attacks and no sounds here with this hive health. Okay, that's Torrent. If you don't have Torrent by the time you're done setting up, uh, you have to kick the Pidgeotto, which sometimes you have the kicks for, sometimes you don't. Ekman has, still has four. Uh, gonna be interesting to see if he just kicks down the rest of the fight. Oh, water gunning. Okay, so actually purposely stalling for damage here, which is totally fine. I'm pretty sure he lives even with a crit with his defense. Uh, 21's much better health for what he's looking for. Can choose to aura on it and not candy. Uh, can also just choose... I mean, five level ups, he's gonna be fine. I'm, like, nearly certain. Wait, no, Kid Rocker's still not taking damage. I, uh, Kid Rocker couldn't one-shot that Marowak because he wasn't in Torrent, and he still didn't see an attacking move, which is very bad. Kid Rocker needs, uh, I think he's probably going to stall on Golbat, honestly. I don't think Kid Rocker wants to enter Koga's gym in health. That is not for him. Wow, Water Pulse still kills that thing? I'm kind of shocked. It was probably a range. Uh, a bit unfortunate. 
At this rate, there's really not a lot of... An 8 and 161 range. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I thought it could even be out of 161. 8 and 16 range. Uh, from this point, Kidrocker, there's not really a whole lot of places where he can stall for damage. Like, might get some quick attacks from the rats, but even then, that's probably not going to be good enough. But it could be. He would need both, though. Alright, so after checking some fadeouts, the difference between Kid Rocker and Ananon is 5 seconds, which, uh, with the extra things Anna has already done with the late surge route, like picking up the T, giving it to the guard, uh, means he already technically has the lead by about 10 ish seconds. Kid Rocker is still not seeing quick attack. Oh no. Rocker going for a water gun there, which normally kills if you're in torrent. Oh, okay. Wow. Couldn't couldn't have worked out better for Kid Rocker there. Scary face into hyperfane crit. The hyperfane crit was so clutch. It was so clutch. He's gonna have fine HP for Koga's gym now. Ekman just making it to the top of tower. Uh, a bit behind these two, but still not incredibly slow. He's probably about two minutes behind Kid Rocker, I would say. Uh, which I mean, like, that's not an insurmountable lead. Uh, any death on a major fight is going to be, like, at least a minute. And once you get further into the race like those deaths are gonna cost a lot more time so Ekman's still in this like definitely do not count him out i'm not opposed to it Juanli. getting clean passes and clean pickups on those items. Get Rocker now doing his biker passes. Okay. That bonk there is a little nerve-wracking. I probably would have bagman it just out of nervousness, but Kid Rocker YOLOing it for the time save. Or, well, just trusting his timing, I should say. Ah, bikes past the max elixir. But unfortunate. Uh, Anna found this safari time save right there. You dismount the bike and remount, and it perfectly cuts out the audio uh, transition, or like the audio transition lag from room to room for that first one. It does save over half a second. Ekman not seeing quick attack, so his health is actually very good here. Uh, just the level up and double candy is going to take him to HP. That's perfectly fine for Koga. Welcome in, Huangli. Hello, hello. I made it just in time, right? Oh yeah, just in time. The run doesn't start till Koga. You're right. All right. All right, Ekman getting the flute. Everyone on the Koga split here. Koga's one of those just bad fights where, like, people can definitely catch up here. Yeah. Uh, and it just all depends on that range. 
Yep, and also the uh, the mark using minimized or not, or if it wants to troll. Yeah, true. So let's turn uh, one from luck. Do you know if uh, any of the late searchers will be able to candy before Koga? So definitely Ekman, and I think Anna too. Anna's health was decently low, from what I remember. Uh, they're they're both in HPs where uh, the candy won't take them out of torrent, so I think they're nice. probably just gonna That's both do it. Then. Yeah. Oh, Anna, almost giving the chest out. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Okay, and Ekman with the biker pass is gonna back manip like Juan Lee. No. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, okay. Yeah, he did. Is through. That, that's he, all that matters. I think matters. he bonged. I think he bonged and then he meant to fix it. Yeah. So what, what what was the biggest wow of the race that I've missed? Um, not sure I if you were in chat for it. I only started uh, watching maybe like ten minutes ago when I got off work. Okay, then you may have seen it. Kid Rocker uh, was in the lead by oh, well over a minute and got a one percent miss on Gyarados and died. Oh, I did not see that one. Oh no. I think I came around that. I think he was already, uh, he had already paired. Wow. Yeah, I mean, e extremely unfortunate. There's not much you can say about that. Like, yeah. yep. you hardly ever see it and you hate to see it in a race. <laughs> the typical. Um, that's insane. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, I'm excited to see what happens from this Koga fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give out a prediction and I'm gonna predict that Ananan has to use both does he have both revives? I Let's actually didn't check. He has to use both revives. Dun 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 Knowing Yana the, the five turn fight's already loaded. Probably gonna see acid armor. <laughs> acid armor and he's gonna just get the range on the Weezing. Yep. Good oh, no, he's gonna also crit, crit the mock. Oh no, he got minimized, okay. So he comes in minimized, just hit, what is it, 85%? I think it's 75. 75? Yeah, it's like, yeah, oh it's lord, it's like a mega kick, it's horrible. I know, you hear the words mega kick and instantly, you like, yeah. shrivel. <laughs> oh my god, no! And it's a mega kick! Kid Rocker also getting through. Nice. Let's see this range, it is 11 and 16. You can hit it, you got it. Yep. Late, late search wins again. <laughs> Kid Rocker didn't do late search, he did early search, right? Yeah, Kid Rocker did early. He, I mean, uh, sure he had a really good, uh, a really good search. Oh no, he, oh yeah, he, he No bite. bites left, no forced bite to left. go for range. Oh, he misses the range, just don't get poisoned? Easy. Okay. Yeah, we'll live and we'll win. Not having bites by this point is pretty... Crazy, but That's I mean, weird. probably expected with the 1% miss because he had to do uh, some weird things on the rival fight after. Oh, uh, okay. Anna talking to Warden, who uh, just stands there with no teeth. Uh, if you ever get the chance, talk to him without the golden teeth in your inventory. It is fantastic, very much worth your time. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Man, that warden should have been that warden should have been part of the Pokemon Detective movie. Oh, uh, what would have been? Or Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, whatever. <laughs> I mean, Oscar-worthy dialogue. Yeah. Imo. All right, I wonder if Anna is gonna do that. Yeah, the bike. This oh, man, these guys in their you frames. You love to see it. These guys in their frames, bro. That one's not too hard with some practice. I haven't even practiced that one. And honestly, I don't care. <laughs> All right, here comes Ekman. Will he save for Koga? He doesn't. He's going for it. Why? Because he's crazy. He wants to win. He can't. 
What are he's gonna do? He's gonna YOLO. Let's go. Yeah, I've been going for. Uh, he's gonna be trying to catch up as best as he can. We'll probably be taking the most risks of anyone left in the race. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, that that swimmer looked funky for the Kid Rocker. Wowie. Yeah, the, <laughs> those. That swimmer is kind of a nightmare. If you see he, him move left once, he you're like, left oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> he, he, he's probably like, not today, bro, not today. <laughs> All right. Imagine man, a 1 in 100 and a 1 in 256 in the same race. It can happen. It can happen. Commentary curse, dude. Let's do it. All right, let's see if Ekman has the same luck as the other two runners. He goes for turn one surf, and he That's gets it. the range. Oh. Lead surge winning again. Ma makes up a little bit of time on Kid Rocker because he missed range, but. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, he still has a chance, you know, if they both die to Agatha, like, and then have really slow Lorelei's, and then Ekman just has, like, you know, Poke Guy RNG or something. Cooker race RNG, and then he wins. Are we gonna see any missed questions today? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I bet the under. These guys are insane. There's no way. Oh wow, we have a tournament winner in the chat. Wow. Heard DDT in the chat, everyone. Oh, I have the perfect sound effect for Kurt in the chat. In one second. Oh, it's Kurt, not working. The best fire red leaf green runner by a wide margin. Okay, well. My sensitivity is too. I think. Is that picking it up? What about now? Uh, yeah, yeah no? nothing's coming through. At least on my end. You can't hear the clapping? It's not working. No, I can't hear it. <laughs> Damn it, bro, this mic sucks! Stupid noise suppression. <laughs> Whatever. I had like the soundtrack playing of the clouds. Whatever, anyways. Let's go. There's nothing really much interesting that can nothing really wrong that can happen besides like execution from errors and stuff here because they all have good yeah. speed as well so they don't need yeah they'll all be fine for blaine ekman and kid rock are gonna have to do the x speed on actually i think all three of them are gonna have to do the x speed on sabrina because i know anna oh, fought oh, oh my god Ooh, oh, okay no, okay wait, go right bro <laughs> oh no Ooh, little little clench there I wonder if he's gonna, uh, his propel's gonna wear out. Probably uh, not, because he didn't get shouldn't. Carlos. Yeah. Uh, Anna fought Hiker in Mount Moon, so I don't think he had the speed EVs to go for the Carbos. Oh. Did he, he, yeah, but he got Bubble probably, right? If uh, 29 no. is Actually, 29 him and Ekman didn't get Bubble. But he's modest. I think that's just how the encounters played out. Wow. What a chat, bro. I'm telling you, man. And it's cracked. As Chippy's Jack? I saw him at 7-Eleven the other day. Buying... Clefable plushies. <laughs> I asked him... What the... Pl the <laughs> what the plushies were for? He said, they contain my full power, so I don't completely... Oop on this kid, dude. I don't know. That was a really weird interaction. Good censoring. <laughs> also, Anna making the most time yeah. or the most important time decision in the run. Exactly, yeah. Saying no to Bill. Yep. There has to be, I think. Unless you reset and you go back to like, you know, like search or whatever. I think that's probably the worst time loss in an entire race you can have. I mean, yeah, I think people have talked about it before, and if you save before Koga, it's literally faster to load that save, fight Koga again, and then oh, wow. do the bling split again, and then complete all of islands. <laughs> I 
All right, so Anna, I'm gonna start Erica pretty soon. Um, I'm I am 100 sure he's gonna do X special strat. So. Oh yeah. Which I... means that he will not. He will not. They will. He will not go for the bliss. Yeah, I think there's no shot. As long as he has the surfs, I'm sure. With, with a lead this large, I'm fairly certain he's gonna expect. Yeah, I would expect even if I was behind, to be honest. Dude. Yeah, yellow, yellow blizzards aren't fun. <laughs> I swear, I think. I, I have 32 races so far this year. Uh, and I think around 27 to 28 miss the blizzard on vile plume oh wait he served, he served the execute well oh. time save unless he only had two. Oh wait no it was a mistake wait that's a time a, save now that's a strat a, now yeah. if you have three serves you serve them well, dude i want to i don't want to play anymore i want to play yellow again Yellow classic, oh, yeah. dude. Okay, I changes. found that one. It's, I think it's just like literally the same. If you are, like, even if you're perfect with using bite, it's the same amount of time to just use surf if you have torrent. Yeah, but you gotta have that extra serve, which you rarely do. I mean, now he just used it. Now he's gonna bliss. Yeah, bite and boom. Helps I mean, he's, uh, he's he tanks. He tanks a giga drain, so even if he misses and gets stun spore, he can still hit again. I uh, just. Just analog. Analog, never mind. Easy. Awesome. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Time save over the strat he was going to do. The rich get richer, dude. <laughs> Alright, Ekman, you have one job, dude. No, he said Let's no. Let's go. Let's go. So I think Kid that's Rocker had to do a... turning off your GameCube, dude. <laughs> Kid Rocker had to do a, a huge oh. menu where he had a candy and teach Blizzard uh, to Blastoise, and Ekman got to skip all that because he's doing late surge route. He's already top Blizzard, already done the candies, oh, so he's you're gonna right. save like minimum thirty seconds on Kid Rocker. So wow. like you're already seeing how caught yeah, up Ekman yeah. is. He's creeping up. Let's go. All right, let's Anna see. Four, three teleport pass. Yeah, I, I, this is literally my favorite tech of the entire run. I don't know why. So, that so one does satisfied. feel very smooth. It, I think it's, it's so cool. I think it's when you learn the when you learn the run and you don't really do it. It's like scary because you're not you if you if you do it the old way you hate that scientist because you're like oh is he gonna is he gonna troll me but with this it's like you don't get trolled ever so. It's so nice. It's like Dan Pass, but easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Dan Pass for kids, dude. Alright, I wonder if he's gonna save for self. He doesn't have enough time to do the Ariana Grande Manip, which is nice. Bang making a call saying double X act for Anna. He might, but I don't know how his uh, items look like. I wasn't, sure. I wasn't aware of his chopping. I'm clueless. Alright, so Eggman goes for the bike. Is this torn for him? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Math is hard. Oh yeah, actually I just remembered. I... Oh, that's not a good crit. Uh... Ouch. Oh, yeah, I was watching the yeah, I was wondering if he was gonna go just on one X, but okay, he's actually totally fine. Maybe Probably he just had knew... to. He knew he was gonna get a crit, so he healed extra, dude. What a god! Wow. Dude. Yeah, just foregoed the extra X attack or you tell. X act. He's, he's like, it's happening. It's happening. I know. It is 93% after all. All right, Ackerman doing the spec strap perfectly. He's just gonna get through. Ackerman did do uh, so a special strat, so he was able to serve, which is nice. 
And now his health is in a weird situation, because I guess 92. A super is too much, and he's gonna have to double potion for. Uh... Yeah, a double potion would be fine here. It's, it's a little slow, but it's fine. Oh no! No, KR! in the armor guy! No. Luckily, this fight's not too. I think it's a one shot with Surf? Is this the first optional that we've hit today? Not for KR, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, we have... that's two optionals for KR, and Anna has had two deaths. Wow. Don't tilt. Oh my god, it's impossible not to tilt when you're doing a tournament race. Yeah, when... When the BS starts lining up like this, it's like, it's yeah. hard to maintain your composure, for sure. So, I guess in for Anna, he's just... Oh yeah, he has a Kangaskhan fight. The Kangaskhan fight coming up. Which can be the only thing that could really... Uh, yeah. Slow uh... down, and then maybe uh, getting trolled by Psybeam Sturbina. But I think he's gonna do his setup on Kadabra. I wonder what he'll do if he gets Fake Out from Kanga. Ooh. Because it would be... Like, at that point, you hit the ranger, you might die. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so Kid Rocker is using... Double X accuracy, gets hit to 13, that's not quick attack range, it's pretty close. That's pretty nice. Yeah, Easy with, with the high... I think the high defense, like, very much saved him there. Because I think 13 was the high roll. Oh, wow. Yeah, a safe fight for Kid Rocker. And also this HP, like, it's still not bad. Like, he, he can actually just potion this, still. Yeah, Are you right. Let's see if Ekman gets the same kind of fight that these guys did. So he did end up healing too. I think he ended up healing with a super. So yeah, he's probably gonna use another X accuracy here. Yeah, that would be what ideal. I, what I would 44 expect. is too high, yeah. Yeah, they're all they're all on that truly truly strat. Truly! Oh he's supposed to water pulse that. Yeah. that oh I, I literally too. always forget to water pulse it. But I think that's fine, you have the extra surf anyways, right? Yeah, you, you have enough surfs as long as you have torn for at least some part of Geo's gym. Yep. And Ananon making it through easily. Of course. Imagine Ananon. Why would, why would there be a thing to worry about? Luli! It's with an L and a Y. Luli, not Looney. God. Certainly after that optional, it's a pretty really close, close race between Ekman and Kid Rocker for a yep. second here. Okay, we just lost Anna's feet. Oh, uh, and back. Oh, he's loading up the shit game shark. Okay. Yeah, and as a reminder to those who may not know, for this round, all first places are obviously going to advance, but as well as all second places will automatically advance. Yeah, There's gonna something be one that I did not know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually didn't know that either <laughs> before the race. Yeah, I, I thought second place had to get. I thought it was like you know like top, you know out of like 18, 16 advanced or something like that. You know so. And wait, hold on, Kid Rocker died. Wait, what happened? Oh, did he bite the? Yeah, he... that's an accidental he... bite. Health for sure. Bro, come on, Sparrow, you can do it. Oh no, wait. Bro, wait, does this Marowak have headbutt? Does it only have ground moves? Wait, really? No way. Oh my god, you're right. There's no way, you... right? Oh, it has rage. Oh, thank god. Rage against the machines, dude. <laughs> rage against the that's, game. That's so incredibly unfortunate oh, for, no, for KR so to have now. seen all of those turns that were not rage to kill that Spiro, and Ekman yeah. is all the way caught up. Wow. And by all the way caught up, you mean he passed him? Yeah. Uh, Pickle. Uh, it looks like Kid Rocker accidentally bit the Marowak and uh, saw a killing move in return. 
Oh, he water pulls the drowsy. The drowsy didn't die. I hate itself in confusion. I wonder if he knows what the strat Slightly is lucky. to... I wonder if he knows to X-Special here in turn one. I think he does. I if he doesn't, it's, it's gonna be... I was trying to water pulse in that one race I with you guys. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the clip I posted. Just keep water pulsing, confusing, and everything. Oh, it's just surf. I... I think he's gonna try to get damage from the Kanga scan. I don't know if Surf kills this Needle Queen. Okay, Ekman got Fake Out. Okay, it does. Scary. Yeah, Fake Out's not what you want to see. That's... I always hate it. It's like, well, just turn into a do or die. Okay, so he Surf's Kangaskhan survives. He hits him with Rage. It's horrible, dude. Fighting? Will that kill? I would... Yeah. yeah. Close, close. I think yeah, at this, this point, I wouldn't even try to take damage anymore. I would just X speed X special on Sabrina, and if I don't have Torrent after the fight, just center the posset, you know, the posset center, and then just surf everything. So yeah, at like, at this health, he's gonna have to X spec and X speed on the fight, and I think Future Sight isn't even gonna be enough to give him the health that he needs for Geo's gym. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure if he'll do it, but what I would do is spec on the Kadabra and then speed on the Venomoth. So that way you still get a side beam right, in addition like to the future down. sight. But that's even this... if he sees future sight. Yeah, and the future sight can always miss. Wow, you guys are so positive. <laughs> How about he's gonna go great for Kid Rocker and he's gonna catch up, dude. Yeah! Yeah. Okay, I just sent I just sent a message. I told him to slow down a little bit. He said gotcha. Okay, nice. I told him if he can go catch Sapdos in the power plant, he said he said gotcha. And then he said Kappa. I don't know why he said Kappa, but it's kinda weird. So yeah, Ken Rocker seeing Calm Mind there, which is an absolute nightmare. No. Uh, from this position, he's likely just gonna have to use the elixir, or go to the Viridian Center to restore his PP because he's not gonna have. Yeah. Uh, no surfs. The surfs, yeah. And water pulses without water pulses and kill without torrent. So yeah. Okay. So he's like speeding here. It's Sidebeam. Yeah. He's no confuse. It honestly could be worth to just take the center. Because uh, I think we've talked about it before, like yeah, you could deposit did. your pokes. Yeah. But also, since like surf kills everything, he could literally surf the whole gym and just keep full health, and he doesn't have to heal for the yeah, rival. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. That was a, that was the play because yeah, there's like there's no written back up that like okay you know you do use this pokemon to get back into torrent like all the pokemon have weird moves that can either do nothing or probably like li very little damage or way too much like oh let's set up on this needle queen body slam para you know stuff like yeah that. actually i also just remembered oh wait wait never mind i was gonna say like do you need the pokes for hms but you don't you like everything you need is on blastoise Oh, you're also right, yeah. I guess if you have Sentry, you can't really do it. I mean, you can, but then you gotta teach strength again. Yeah. Anna threw Geo. Uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't even bother to comment on Anna's gym, because this gym is just Not like water pulse. Well, we'll, we'll uh, talk about him when he misses a blister on Gyarados. Okay. Oh, for a minute there, it looked like Ekman and Anna were synced because they were both going in the speed <laughs> tiles. Yeah, Anna has a pretty solid lead here. This is like minimum two minutes over Ekman, I think. Uh, yeah. But this is an intense race for second here. Yeah! Hell yeah. Uh, he's saving. All knee chickens. 
Just why are you saving, bro? Just take the L and then we come back and then it'll be like really close, dude. And we can have a sick race. I swear, like two days ago, I had a Viridian rival fight where I missed two act blizzards on Venusaur. Oh, oh lord. Like you, you, you missed, you reset, and then you missed again? No, I missed, got growth, missed again, and then it oh. killed me. <laughs> uh, oh, Feather Dance. Oh, dude. Why does he get Feather Dance, bro? Oh, Anna's the over rich three minutes ahead. Get after. rich here, bro. The rich get rich. <laughs> yeah, if he misses Blister here, I don't even think he's dead to Razor Leaf from Venusaur. Uh, he might live Growth Razor Leaf, because he's wow. modest. A one. Nah, he hit, he hit, he hit. So what did uh, Kid Rocker do for his health? He did not. Yeah, he doesn't know that. Uh, it, I mean, the other option is he could just use the elixir in his bag for more surfs, and then he could just pick up the max elixir at oh, the end. Oh, you're right. Of... You're right. If you're ready. I think if you have Sanctuary, that's the play. Sure. Yeah, definitely. And if you don't have Sanjur, I think Sentren is fine. Yeah, having, like, not having to heal and then you just have that extra full restore in case things go wrong is pretty nice. Anna seeing Rain Dance, which is the, the slowest move you can see from Gyarados, but, like, a bit of safety since. I, I like seeing Rain Dance. Boost. I don't like having to use, like, speed. It's scary. What if I use a like, special on mistake? I mean, how is it scary? <laughs> this crowd with like practically agility is everything. <laughs> it has takedown, dude. <laughs> the takedown crit. Takedown crit, dude. Yeah, well, he's freaking modest. I mean, the only person that would that would be scared of takedown crit would be Main because he runs Miles Cordles. Hi, right, so Kid Rocker. Water Pulse the Needle Queen, it survives. Earthquake. There we go. He's back okay. in point. Easy, bro. Easy. It was five head all along. Five head. This is way faster than centering, dude. <laughs> Earthquake did kill him, though. And I'm having some trouble finding the entrance. Oh, no. Ekman now is going to be moving on to his Viridian rival fight. Yep. This is like, this is like the most boring, no, not the most, but this is one of the boring parts of the run for the people watching, but it's like the most intense part for the actual runner, because you're doing like victory road, and it's like you're about to get into the force, so you're like nervous, you're like, I gotta do everything perfect, gotta push the boulders, don't take any extra steps, and then us as the watchers were like, okay, they're gonna push the boulder. Yeah, this is definitely where things get tight. Like, there's, like at this point, there's not really areas where you can like purposely save time over another runner unless you're not saving like that's yeah. the, the very least you could do like that like if you want to go for the risky repel strats you could do that but other than that like it's now just going to come down to the e4 luck and yeah. how well you can get through victory road yeah the the victory road execution is i mean it's not huge obviously it's only a couple seconds if you but if you execute it well compared to others but yeah it's Still, I, I, it's like the nervous part for me because it's like the calm before the storm. <laughs> That's the runner. It's like in Colo when you enter the Colosseum after fighting... Uh, what was this dude? Like towards the end end. The Colosseum? Yeah, like... You the know Pokemon Colosseum? Yeah, who's the last guy you fight? Before Are you talking you about the first the one? Yeah, yeah, the first guy you fight Mirish? before you enter. No, he's like the muscular guy with the... the one that he you was the last up. one. No, not in the Colosseum. About... Before you oh. enter. Like, you know how Kale. you go up and... Huh? Kale, right? No, I mean, not not that Colosseum. Like, the end Colosseum. Like, when you're oh, about never to mind. finish the game. Gonzap. Gonzap, yes. Exactly. We're turning this into a, another Colo commentator. Good. So people Stream, want. Actually. That's what it's gonna be next year. Tolo tournament. <laughs> Tolo tournament. <laughs> It'll be fun. America right. B tournament. Kid Rocker didn't miss blisters. Ekman gets hydro pump to 47. That's. Is it psychic range? 
Yeah, it's a psychic ray. Like, he'll have to X speed for sure. Oh, you're right. He X speeds. Yeah, it reminds me of Pokemon Red, how in Gen 1. <laughs> and a move the Strength Rock, an extra tile. Wow. Yeah, I saw him like. Oh, he bonked. Oh, he bonked, dude. He made a mistake. He's human. No way. He's human. I don't know. I, I don't know if I could <laughs> expose myself like this. I'd reset. Chatting. Okay. Any red runners in chat? Looks like Ekman and Kid Rock are gonna make it through just fine. Nice. Oh my god, and then going left threw me off. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, he's going. He goes. I go right. I don't know why. I don't think I it matters. I always go right too. This is scary. It scared me. All right, now he's going to deposit. He's gonna PC heal, box heal, or whatever you want to call it. He's gonna buy some full restores. And then he's gonna go. That's gonna be the next meta, dude. You're not gonna buy full restores. Just go. Dude. Heal with supers. Who needs him? Heals with heal heal with potions, dude. You'll be fine. Reminds me of Way Warriors Emerald Strat the Gyarados on champ. Instead of four storing, you just super potion. <laughs> oh my god. So it's less time to heal yourself. <laughs> Yes, yeah, smart. All right, so and starting lands, Kale, Kalis. What do you think? Uh, I think turn two Hale. Turn two, okay. I say Kalis because it's Anna. Because it's turn banana one. nan, banana nan. I wonder if he's gonna risk the body slam crit if he gets there. Nah, with this lead, I think he'll heal. I honestly been always healing that the para crit, uh, the body slam crit. I like think if he, if, he, if he was okay, he got crit. He's definitely healing. If he was to uh, like let's say lose this fight, unless you lose it on the dugong, you lose it on the uh, oh my god, you lose like what two minutes? Not even. Probably. Not. Oh yeah, I mean like. Wait, if you said like if you just die on Dugong or if you die at the end of the no, fight? No, if you die if you die on Lapras, you lose like three minutes. Easy. Oh yeah, you it's like literally three minutes lost. This I is the worst fight beam. you could die on. But I think I that ice ice beam crit could maybe kill them there. Close. Let's see if he gets protect. Oh, he got protect. Somebody bang. Somebody ban bang ban bang. Triggered. Bang bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ale is the biggest save you can get in this game. Okay, bro. It wasn't <laughs> double protect. You're right. I apologize. Come on, Kit Rocker. Come on, Eggman. Push the boulder faster, dude. We want to see some content. Oh, Kit Rocker taking some extra steps. I think they're doing like the. Extra repel. Oh, he pushed Ekman the doing the same extra stuff that oh, Anna no. did. Oh no! No, dude. E Ekman's still to totally me. fine because Ekman did the late repel strat. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Oh yeah, because they're late searchers, so they. Oh wow! Oh wow! I, I literally said his name and then he started. <laughs> Don't listen right. to the commentary. Body slam. Right. Will it para? No. It does not para. Oh, he's gonna fucking. He's gonna flinch, isn't he? Another one oh, and no. para. They're probably just it's gonna so try quick. and hit through here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, he is right. A hundred. Gonna have to f get through the fifty, fifty, and then the twenty-five. Wow. wow. Oh, he's gonna crit, isn't he? Nah. Okay. <laughs> I'm jinxing him so bad. Yeah. He's just gonna full restore here and yeah. just hope the body slam doesn't para on this one. All right. He's good. One thirty-five. That's six special strats. Yeah. That, that's easy high HP strats. His health is like. Near perfect. Yeah. Oh no, Kid, Kid Rock is getting the one percent. Right? 
He took. He was gonna take four steps after a bail. I'm not sure. I've heard that it's not a one percent. Uh, like they're technically just full lot styles. Oh, okay. Getting, still getting unlucky. Oh, okay. I've been taking oh, time no. loss. The time loss will restore by. Okay. Hey, to each their own, dude. You know. It's, it's, you gotta have confidence to do things like that. And Ekman has it. Anna saving before Bruno. What? I mean, I think. Okay, he gets Earthquake. Oh no! Oh, oh, crit, bro. oh my god. Oh, <laughs> what a genius! What a genius, man. This man he's bro. still gonna see Earthquake Wait, here, he's, right? Yeah, he's double. Oh, oh. 28. No, nah, he's gonna oh. super now. Oh, he's gonna uh, he, okay, yeah, he's gonna risk it. Uh, cause 28's the high roll from Lock Punch, I'm pretty sure. Oh, chatting! Oh my lord, oh my god. Ekman getting hail. Ah, haha, <laughs> this man, dude. Dude, some, somebody take away his controller. 22 to 27, I was wrong. Oh, wow, so he was- Wow! No way, bro. The rich get richer, man. Yeah, but that was a really good play from him. Getting crit, that yeah. guard spec, like, that instantaneously just knowing what to do. Like, didn't even flinch to think, what what do I do here? Just He just already knew. Like, guard spec, special, and I win. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he got a little bit lucky with the rolls, too, but uh, he knew. I don't think Shadow Punch can kill. I'll, I'll double check. Mmm. Someone take away his calculator. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to. We want to see. I want to see an input viewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it that the console runners are all using input viewer? Oh, wait, he's potioning. Oh, okay. Fifty-one. Wow. Uh, Isn't that bad though? So it's an oh, extreme safety play in case he sees Shadow Punch turn one. So the Shadow Punch range is 25 to 30. So he was technically fine. But if he saw Shadow Punch turn one, he would have been in a bad heal loop. Yeah, because yeah, he supers and then he still gets Shadow Punch. Yeah, he has to heal like three times to get out of the loop or something like that, probably. Yeah. So, oh, Ekman getting a crit and a flinch. Whoa, whoa, let's go. Whoa, whoa he got toxic turn one. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> uh, that gives him the perfect tour. Dude, he's cheating, dude. He, then, there's no way, man. There's no way, bro. Nah, I, I would say that's punished for potioning. <laughs> but now he has really good HP. Wasn't he gonna level out of Torrent from 51 or not? No, uh, he was gonna keep it for 54. Oh, okay then. Okay, he's not cheating then. And hits through anyway, first try. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's not cheating. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He's just... He's just Ananan. Alright, let's see Let's see how Ekman does his, uh, his Bruno fight. He's gonna full restore turn one. Okay. He's gonna get that rock to miss. Restore turn one strats always and pretty start, good. And start crying when you get that rock to miss. Yeah, rock to miss is cool. Like, why couldn't it be Brock's on it? <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, okay, so he's a plus two. Still no torrent. Plus three. Probably just go plus three then. Yeah, nah, just go plus four. Expect oh, he, he could win. speed and then guard spec, technically. Oh, you're right. Nah, yeah, because this is now, now a little iffy. He's gonna have to heal with super. Yeah. Now he's thinking. So he's gonna go for oh, the yeah. knife punch. That's that's what I like to do. Uh, and it never works out for me. Yeah, I think his defense is high enough where he definitely won't see Rock Tomb, so I think it's okay. Okay. Just don't get crit. Oh. Okay, that's... He's 29 HP, though. Not, I value it's not good it's really for good. Agatha, I'm it's pretty not. sure. Like, it'll be fine for the rest of this fight, but if he gets two plus threes, then it's bad. Well, let's need, see if he, he watched plus my two. race the other day. My run one race. Okay. He could stall on the last Onyx. 
if he wants because it, it doesn't have rock tomb or anything like that like he could potion and try and see an earthquake uh instead of plus three plus three but he says you're fine Let's two see. plus threes is fine wait all right so bear this okay oh, wow i didn't get to i must be high together. i swear to god i thought i saw uh i thought his end health was going to be 168 instead of 169. You're high? Wait a minute. You're not allowed to do that. I must be. If I can't math like that. Okay, so he gets the hyper beam. I think he set up his exaccuracies already. Yeah, he did. He set up his second exaccuracy now. And now he's gonna go for the guaranteed blizzards. And uh, now he's pretty much through. Yeah, Whoa! I've... No! He missed oh. the range! No! Dude, no! Risky land strikes again. Heck. W, bro. Heck, W. <laughs> Ekman, I'm pretty sure Potion before Agatha, uh, in which case I'd give him perfect health. And him and Kid Rocker are basically insane. I, yeah. Ekman with a two step advantage, though, talking to Agatha from the side. Oh, side head. Side, side, Saigatha. Saigatha. Okay, and it gets through on the second go around. On the second go around, wow, dude, it's so nice. I was, I was like, he's through, and he's like, nope. In this day, it's hard to see it, so I don't have this ma maximized on my screen. There we go. All right, both Kid Rocker Max and Ekman got screen. double double team. Now I can see better. And Ekman hits through. Kid Rocker does not. Oh no! Come on, kid. Oh no, oh, dude. Oh no. It's funny because when you miss surf here, you're just like, okay, just keep double teaming, dude. Just keep double teaming. Don't do not punch me. So no one punches you, the next turn he's gonna. Yeah. No. Just what? resets. When he, where's the next surf? Yolo, you gotta yolo, that. You gotta yolo, yolo it, bro. You for the content. Even if you're out of surfs, you can still bite. Oh well. Is what it is. Ho hopefully he gets a much cleaner fight this time around. Yeah. I don't know how his end time is looking like. Uh, so I mean, if Ekman, like, the last two fights are about, like, three-ish minutes apiece, a little bit more. Okay. Plus the end time, so it's about, like, once you beat Agatha, you're a little over seven minutes to the end. So he's, like, on a 210, 211-ish, maybe. Ooh. Now, for KR, he's on what is likely 213, 214, and uh, Ekman's on, like, 210, 211. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy to beat for, uh, third, pot third potters, unfortunately, I think. I mean, you never know. It's Thor Potters. There's still two fights left. There's still two fights left. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we have. Maybe we have Ananan just die to champ like five times in a row. Eggman's going behind now. He's going back lamps. He doesn't care. He wants to be funny. Yeah, Ananan I mean, playing very safely here. I think he saved for every single E4 member, if I'm not mistaken. Probably. Man, I wish you could hear this music. <laughs> wow, sand attack, feather dance, dude. Or is he gonna get sand attacked again? Ekman's yeah. going for risky strategy. No, wait, no, not risky strategy. This is regular setup. Yeah. Wow. Imagine getting damage from the PGR in champ, dude. <laughs> Yeah, and is gonna get through with what is Damage likely gonna be a healer's dude. fight. Damage less, man! Can please Ekman... yolo, please yolo blizzard on Venus or at least. Ekman set up the second X act. Is good defense uh... allowed him to set up three items there without seeing the hyper beam first? I can't. I can't double you. And what? What happened? Ekman was at 68 health and saw Dragon Rage. Wow, wow. Which means it was a prediction low roll hyper beam. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Insane! Insane! Imagine not seeing hyper beam from the 60s. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I still with, can't with... believe and I got a damage less PGR. Without getting through Healus, really the only thing that can go wrong is if he 
crits bite on Gyarados, he could lose some time, but I think he's just gonna Blizzard first in this scenario. If he Blizzards first, it's like a guarantee. Let's all say GG, let's all say GG, Anna, GG, Anna. <laughs> well, we see the Blizzard crit. <laughs> no, it goes for bite. Goes for bite and... Flinches. And the course. flinch! Of course. Rich of get course. richer. The rich get richer, bro. That, that's that, that's the name of the tournament. The rich get richer <laughs> fire lifting tournament, 2023, bro. Yeah, so that's GG's for Anon. I'm locking up a low 209. And Ekman wow. threw lands. If I knew he was gonna get a 209, I would have asked for uh, Ananan for my race. <laughs> I mean, I still would have lost. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, K Rocker is gonna have a range here for Blizzard. Oh god. Oh, okay. Gets it. His 81 HP is scary for Aerodactyl, I think, for a crit. Uh, he'll be fine. With it's Rash? Kid, it's kid Rocker, dude. He doesn't get unlucky like that. I mean, this is max defense Rash. I think he's t actually fine. Oh, okay, I you're think. right. It is 31. I think. Oh, but max, de max defense is like kind of annoying for Bruno if you have like way too much health. Ekman yeah. has second all lock all locked up here unless something were to go wrong on this champ fight. Oh wow, yeah, Anna Anna took damage from ext extreme speed. He didn't get a damage less champ fight, dude. Oh man, what an unlucky guy. I mean, I got extreme speed skip. <gasps> Come on, he couldn't do. No, I'm kidding. I think I got extreme speed cray when I got world record, and that gave me the record because I was like off for like two seconds or something like that. Oh, I remember. Yeah, you didn't see it. That was pretty funny. I can get in the sand. Down. He's and gonna want to see a few gone. more of those. Two oh nine eleven. G G. G's to the G's, bro. Anna, you're welcome to join commentary anytime. Yes. I need to run to the bathroom, so please, please hurry up. All right, Ekman is through Pidgeot, L not in Torrent. I think he's, he has, he's definitely plus three. He has to be plus three, otherwise he can't go. Let's see if he gets the... Uh, Gonna have to hit 93 luck. here. Yeah, let's see if he just hit the 93. Yo, congratulations, dude. Welcome, Yo, Manus. Congrats. EY2Y. -Y. What a race, man. What a game. I hate the early game. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you have this modest. Is a, a that's classic Anna story. The early Double. game sucks, and the rest of the race is clean. What were your deaths, dude? I didn't see them. Uh, I had a last turn semi death, poison sting crit. I had a uh, misty death where I had to use my revive. I had a rival two. Wow. I kind of just reset because I got quick attack crit and had no more. I had one oh, more yeah, revive, yeah. but no revive. You, you, yeah, you already knew that it was. So, it was gonna... yeah, like I, I, I would have had to like pop five potions or whatever, so I was like, nah, I'm just gonna redo the fight. And once again, my rival free was just, yeah, out of this yeah. world. Sand the attack, Ekman... I actually tried Mike? to stall and got the yeah. seed on that turn, I was just so unlucky. <laughs> so mad about that one. Yeah, that early game was pretty atrocious. I like, the last turn Sammy crit, I was like, wow, of course, like final <laughs> turn, and then having to use the revive on Misty, blows. I. Yeah, I got I got double yeah. crit by, by Stami. That was just oh, dude, really so like bad. it was. I had modest, so seeing water pulse itself is already unlucky. All right, we got swift crit. Water pulse confused it to swift crit, so I don't. Did know Rocker hit his blister, dude? Will Ekman go. risk this? I like. I don't. He's not likely to die from here, but he's he fine. can still guarantee the win. Oh, oh no, he he's speedy. Speed. <laughs> How does he skip that one with those stats? GG Ekman! GG Ekman. On to round three! Same. Unfortunately, I don't think Kid Rocker will. He still has a chance. He's technically the only third place time right now. Yeah, so, so for now he's yeah. advancing. Oh, for yeah. now he's advancing, but no, no. Nice, dude. Nice race, dude. I don't know, yeah. I just saw Kid Rocker being like close to tied with like Eggman going into <laughs> the Rocktown split. I was barely ahead. I'll be right know. back. One minute. Oh no. No. Okay, that's GG for oh, Kid Rocker. Oh my god. Gets the fresh crit. Fs or GG's for Kid Rocker.
bad one hurts. Yeah, it's gonna be a DNF from Kid Rocker, it's unfortunate. Ekman finishing with 212.31. Well, that's the end of our race. Rocker race. Man, that's... So sad, but so true, Lafsic. <sighs> yeah, like Kid it. Rocker saw a lot this race. The, I mean, like, the optional on Rock Tunnel is one thing, but then getting 1%ed by Tower. Yeah, that's just... KR. GG. I can't get a fucking break with this game. Yeah, that was a, a rough watch with the RNG. I threw and that's a Brina split, but everything else was just RNG completely screwing me. Good early game for once, but nothing you can do with if the late game's just gonna miss Mega Hicks on you and miss Blizzards and crit you. Hello. Welcome, Ekman, GG. Please, guys. <laughs> What was that race? What, what? <laughs> it got Just... pretty wild there in the beginning. I feel like everyone was like all over the place, kind of. Yeah. I think I misplayed and I got punished for it, so like I can't really be mad about it, but also it's kind of kind of unlucky, but yeah. I, I think I misplayed, so I can't, can't be mad about most of the stuff that happened. Because it was my bad. I could have pre prevented it. But yeah, I just saw that I'm Kid Rocker died a lot later yeah. on. Yeah, like like a lot, like Erica Sabrina just saved a lot of time and what don't know what happened. Be... A lot of so rival four, I missed a mega kick. Um, on the well, the Erica split, you guys saved time because you guys don't do the menu there. But um, because of that rival four death, I had. No PP for any of the fights heading up until pretty much Giovanni. I had to completely PP manage that whole time, trying not to use the max amount of moves. Um, Sabrina, I was thinking ahead about my PP and misclicked bite on the Marowak. And got bone ring kill me oh. and then uh i had agatha miss four serves and kept double teaming so i reset there and then i got crit on uh champs gyarados thrash from 42 to kill me with oh, no gosh. save okay i mean my early game was just terrible i, I like rocked I think that was by far my worst rock tunnel, uh, until rock tunnel ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my early game was, was bad, but you were still kind of behind me. That was crazy to see. I don't know. I think Alicia fight, uh, it was like two minute fight or something. Yeah, oh, that yeah. Alicia fight was the worst by far. I think KR yeah. entered that fight 30 seconds after you had started and he still finished before you. Oh, God. Was, and yeah. he had a bad fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed two kicks on that fight. I missed three in a row. And I went, ran out of antidote, so I had to save for Martha, and I got poisoned, so I had to reset. Nice, dude. Running out of antidotes before he even get <laughs> running out crazy. of anything sucks, dude. Yeah, dude. I, I also got, I also got poisoned on rival on boat driver, which was good. But yeah, then I ran out. <laughs> oh, I also ran out of uh, awakenings on Alicia. Had to do like four or five turns of sleep on her. And then I picked up the Chesto, got slept on the last fight in Rock Tunnel, uh, used it, and then got slept again. God. Yeah, that was pretty unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, just to tear the race. <laughs> but yeah. Unlucky, unlucky ending for you. GG, though. GG, guys. Yeah, you... Uh, after, like, the mid-game, Anna had a pretty decent lead, but it was a pretty, like, close and intense race between 
you two, Ekman and KR. Like, you guys kept it, like, very entertaining, very entertaining watch all the way through to the end. I, I, yeah, yeah. Lorelai, I got Halus. I was like, okay, this gives me a shot. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna save. We we're even at Agatha, and then Agatha went, nope. Nope, this isn't gonna be close. Wait, why didn't you? Why didn't you serve the last surf? You were just so like defeated that you weren't gonna hit that you knew you weren't gonna hit. Yeah, pretty much. It was like uh, it's at plus four. I might as well just reset. <laughs> we, I was like, no oh, man, let's go for it, dude. <laughs> oh, you got Halus, uh, uh, Lorelai. That's what yeah, it's exactly. like. Like my Lorelai was insane, but with Halus. Insane. Yeah, I got Halus, and then. Uh... Got no statuses on the Lapras for once. Yeah, yeah, I crit flinch turn one. <laughs> nice. So when's the next race? Tomorrow? Next race? Well, we have two races tomorrow. Um, the same time now. Let me double check. If they're at the same time. I'm gonna screech. Um, we have. I think they're an hour and a half apart. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yes. No. Two hours apart. Oh, oh yeah, that's even better. We got Pokey Eye, Chrome Bouncy at oh, yeah, 1 PM lose. Eastern, and Math Genius and Truly at 3 Eastern. Yeah, Truly's gonna win that one. Truly, Truly. <laughs> all right, well, yeah, GG's to all of you guys. Uh, great race to watch and the commentate. Also, Wally, thank you for joining me. Yay! Thanks for letting me join midway. Funny ways for president. I felt really Sorry. bad. I felt really bad that you were commentating by yourself. I wish. I wish I knew you were gonna do it by. Your... I would have left work a little earlier, so I can at least make it like 40 minutes. Oh uh, god, I probably missed a few things, but it was all right. You were doing big great by yourself. Yeah, really I think you. Yeah, you caught the most thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks, Speed Gaming. As always. Thank you, Speed Gaming. And thank you, Jordan. And thank you, Jordan. Thank, thank you, Jordan. Jordan. Speed Jordan Gaming. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Is he about to say hi, Jordan? Okay. All right. <laughs> see you all tomorrow. Epic. Yeah, I think that'll yeah. do it for us today. We'll see you. Same channel tomorrow. Uh, and the race afterward is going to be on Pokemon Speedruns TV, too. Cool. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, right. bye everyone. <laughs>